Hi guys, welcome to Homesteading Through Our Eyes. It is our garden tour time again, September 2017, and the garden is looking the best it has all summer. go I'll give you the tour right. so over here we have our green bean wall um, it as of last week we've been harvesting beans so you know the last week of so last week of August we started harvesting beans so that's obviously a little late in the season but look how great this is. This side doesn't get as much sun, so didn't do as well. But uh, this should, you know, keep us with beans for uh, at least a month. I'm hoping to freeze a lot as well. Let's see, over here in our squash and zucchini area, not much happened this year in this area. This zucchini here is finally got one zucchini on it. These acorn squashes didn't give us any. Here's one acorn squash here. Still green. Hopefully he's got time to turn. I got a zucchini over here. He's doing good. I pulled a couple zucchinis off him. You can see there's one right there. Overall this area almost unproductive. Have to work on it next year. Did some swish chard here when the corn didn't come up. Those are doing good. Harvested that several times. The butternut and the pumpkins planted here didn't do so good. We got one pumpkin, still green, just like the acorn squash. Uh, the dill did really good over here in the shady area. We got one little guy over here. It's either a a butter knot, or I did plant honey knot, which do stay smaller, and this guy's pretty small, so that might be a honey knot. So over here we have our, I guess you, we could call this our bunny bed, because the bunnies can fit magically through our two inch mesh gap, mesh uh, wire fence here, and they just run in and out whenever they want, and since this bed is right next to the fence, they ate it down. I had several kale plants. Um, there was spinach in here before. Now there's cabbage, and it didn't. It did nothing. And and the kale plants, I barely harvested anything out of. So um, the solution for that is next year, instead of just running the electric wire along the top to stop the animals from climbing in, we're also going to run uh, electric wire along the bottom and that should stop any of the rabbits and small critters from getting in. We're going to have to be really vi vigilant with our weed control so that's going to be a bit of a nuisance but we'll see. If it keeps the rabbits out it should be worth it because they really did eat a lot of our crops. So last year it was the deers, this year it was the groundhog and then the rabbit. At first it was the slugs. Here's our swiss chard. Those did good. The rabbits didn't seem to eat that. We also did the sorrel, the, the perennial, that comes back every year. Um, the red veined and the lemon. And the bunnies didn't eat that either. So, But I didn't harvest too much of that either because I, I want it to come back next year just as getting established. It's more important for it to come back next year than to harvest a little bit this year. This bed's pretty much done. We do have the collards still going. Those will go for another month or two, three maybe if it's mild. Over here we have um, some onions. All the tops are off of them. I'm not sure where they all went. They just kind of fell off I guess. Uh, so we harvest them here and there. Some of the small ones I might leave in because you can plant onion sets in the fall like you do garlic and have it come up again in the spring. So that sounds like something I want to try. 
so this area over here is kind of like a jungle area filled with the, the cabbage in the middle. Uh, those should be ready to be plucked soon. The tomatoes are turning red, but still not as much as I was hoping. As you can see over here, this one has got some red tomatoes on it. I mean, that's the most I've seen. It's taking a while. And it's not just our problem. Uh, I've seen many people post about this summer being very wet and cool and just not a good growing condition for the garden. So these tomatoes over here, they're green. They're there. There's some. There's some, these are some sun gold, so they're orange. There's some, but you know, I was hoping to do some some canning and salsa. So, look at that beautiful sunflower. So hopefully, we still get the harvest to that I'm hoping for. The patty pans. The last couple weeks, they have just done amazing. I'm so happy. They didn't really do much all summer. And then, like I said, the last couple weeks, just huge. Just just doing amazing. This one plant's got several on it. Another one, oh, look at that guy, another big one down there. This plant's got several on it. It's just so weird how it was nothing, nothing, nothing. And then here comes the end of August, beginning of September, and bam, we're getting a harvest of everything. I'm so happy that we're getting some stuff. Our uh, cucumbers are slowing down. They're starting to get this mildew on them. They are still going. See, there's one right there. And I got, you know, several jars of pickles. I think about 30 jars of pickles pickled up. So I think we're done pickling and the rest we're just eating and making refrigerator pickles as well. The, the zucchini just started doing good the last couple weeks. Uh, we have some butternuts that are doing good. And the, the, they'll be ready in time. Look at them, they're already starting to be orange. He's got a netting on them, but you can see his orange. There's some rutabagas over here. These guys did pretty good. A lot of the slugs ate my rutabagas, but the ones that made it are getting huge. Tomatoes. This is my comfrey. I loved this plant. Look at these flowers. The bees. Love it. It's a really good fertilizer, natural fertilizer for your garden. In the herbiculture bed, we did the zucchini. And I think the herbiculture bed is infested with ants. Or something's going on over here. Because he's dying. And I'm pretty sure his stem is getting eaten. So, not too many zucchinis out of that guy. So, that's about it. Uh, thanks for watching all our summer updates. It was a rough, rough summer for gardening. But don't get discouraged. Because even if you didn't get as big a harvest as you wanted, you learned a lot. You spend a lot of time outside in nature. And next year, it might be completely different and you might have a wonderful year. And I think that we will next year. We Hope you guys are doing well with your harvests and staying healthy and eating all these wonderful vegetables. And uh, maybe try some raw. So uh, take care. Have a nice day. Peace. Peace.